welcome to AJP PR7. Finally, finally I have a chance to ride it thanks to a company in Vasa, Finland. I will put the information in the description. You can ask for these bikes from there. Firstly, it kind of feels like a 690 KTM. Very nimble, like a big enduro bike. The feeling is pretty much the same. If you have ridden one of those or the Husqvarna variants or Gas Gas 700, you basically know pretty much what you're getting, at least from the initial feel of this bike. Slow speed riding like this, it feels very nimble. It's very, very narrow between your legs and there's some vibrations which are pretty much expected from this kind of engine. The tablet is extremely big, but I don't know if the, if the brightness has been set to very low, but it does seem to be a little bit dim at this time. There are no gear indicators in the dashboard, as far as I can see. So you don't really know, other than feel what gear you're in. Oh, there's a lot of power. It definitely feels pretty much exactly like a 690 what comes to the engine you're getting pretty much the same vibrations but also the same kind of low end grunt and uh, very good power from this unit but of course with the AJP you get the rally towers and uh, very comfortable seat actually it's uh, surprisingly comfortable from initial impressions considering the bike this this kind of bike usually gets a very hard plank that you sit on but this bike feels very nice very nice and the owner of this bike and the company owner told me that uh, he actually prefers the seat on this AJP to his 850 GS he says that this is more comfortable so that's high praise for traveling long distances power is definitely it's enough <laughs> that's all I can say there's so much power in this engine I would say even a bit too much for my my needs but if you like a 690 this is right up your alley definitely and with the AJP you're getting all this extra stuff like the rally fairings and all that basically free of cost because this is much much cheaper than the KTM and Husqvarna variants. Uh, the vibration to my handlebars in these speeds is actually quite low. I would even go as far as to say this doesn't vibrate quite as much as the KTM does, even the new one. I haven't ridden the 25 model, or is it 24 this year, but the previous year did vibrate slightly more, I think. So that's good news for anyone interested in the AJP. The bike feels very flickable. You can drift the rear end and you have plenty of power to just let loose. <laughs> yeah, you can get into some trouble with this bike, definitely. And the brakes have a good feel. Good feel, I would probably adjust the brake lever a little bit but the feel is very good when you get to the braking point it's quite easy to feel it out and find the braking point without locking the front wheel so that's good news on loose surfaces like I'm here the overall feel oh nice bangs on the exhaust let's see the standing position very nice very nice oh excellent excellent comfort for a 175 centimeter rider like me I get a very good and aggressive stance on the on the handlebars. I can go really on top of the handlebars and take a commanding position on this bike. So that's a very very nice thing to notice. The footbacks feel really confidence inspiring. They're not too small. I feel like I'm standing on the ground. They're very good. Here in the gravel roads, the initial impressions is that this is doing what it's supposed to do. This is where this bike is supposed to live and be the happiest. And I'm not even changing gear. <laughs> and the bike is just 
pulling from very very low rpm ranges so this definitely has the tractor effect that you're missing from some of the competitors like let's say a Colby 450 is kind of missing this tractor effect and the gearbox reels feels really confidence inspiring all the gear changes are really smooth and it does what it's supposed to yeah I do like this <laughs> and all the pops and bangs with the stock exhaust really cool really cool oh yeah the power is definitely crazy impressive pretty much with any gear you can just twist the throttle and uh, the bike is gonna perform yeah it's very easy to flick this around play around with the bike <laughs> oh yeah wow this is this is a fun bike and I like that it comes with the tablets and everything and at least the navigation seems to work well I see myself and it's a really big tablet so I'm used to reading my phone when I navigate off-road so that's a uh, quite an improvement on the tablet size on this one I'm not sure how good it is to use but I don't really have the time to fiddle around with it much now maybe someday I take one for a longer review and I can give you some more feedback on the on the unit itself but let's just focus on the riding very similar to the KTM 690 the feel of the bike the balance everything for a user like me it feels very similar I can't really notice any massive change like massive differences between the KTM model which is a good thing this is a cheaper bike and you get more equipment with it so <laughs> yeah similar power to the 690 very capable engine and very low stress doing a hundred 110 indicated the bike definitely doesn't feel like it's having to stress the engine to keep me going the speed and if I start accelerating at 100 and 105 indicated let's say that yeah it's still pulling at top top uh, gear so that's nice the power to do long distances even on highway speeds is definitely a capable bike this one now the interesting part about the rally tower it is actually excellent excellent I don't feel any buffeting in my helmet the wind is coming somewhere above just above my visor when I sit here normally but it's not buffeting it's not shaking it's coming right about here very smooth air I can definitely hear some air but for this kind of bike this is better than some of the mid-size adventure bikes that come with the Tenere tower for example way better than Tenere much much better and now I've been sitting here on the seat for a while and it is comfortable still it doesn't feel too soft like you get, you can feel the frame through it but it doesn't feel hard as nails either and it's rounded up like this so you feel like it's perfectly molded to my ass <laughs> basically so I do believe the salesperson when he says that this is more comfortable than the GS I have no doubt about that this could easily be more comfortable at least as comfortable and I'm actually now riding without earplugs and I can definitely hear the engine note on this bike so if you don't like to listen to engine droning at highway speeds you kind of have to wear earplugs but the wind noise is not unbearably loud the rally fairing is definitely doing its job it's keeping the wind away from my chest completely I get some, some wind in my shoulders and a little bit in my head in my uh, helmet but it's definitely very comfortable especially considering the kind of bike this is 
the wind protection rivals the twin cylinder adventure bikes market in my opinion and okay the vibrations I'm gonna say you're you're gonna expect at this speed you're gonna be expecting about as much vibration as the KTM I would have to test them back to back to say which one is worse but if I had to guess this would be a little bit more smooth than the KTM I do feel like this uh, this is a little bit less vibey even though these are both vibey options you need to be okay with vibrations with the KTM and with the AJP you can't really expect nothing nothing else <laughs> oh yeah but it does, does get to highway speed very easily so get into trails with this bike and this bearing no problem you can travel with this in a relative comfort it's never gonna be as comfortable as a twin cylinder adventure bike but with this one off-roading is gonna be way more fun the exhaust note is, is really nice and it's not as loud as my CRF with the Dominator exhaust, so I'm kind of used to this kind of exhaust mode already. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, the torque on this engine is, is really nice. I always love these KTM 690s and these 700cc thumpers because the torque is kind of crazy. It starts from all the way down low and goes all the way up, the, up in the RPM range. And this actually, talking about RPMs, this has an RPM meter in the dashboard. So that's a really nice bonus you don't get in some of these kind of bikes. If I switch to one lower gear, you can see the RPMs go up in the dashboard. Very simple dashboard, but the RPM is really nice to see. I would like to see a gear indicator here, but apparently you don't get one. The vibrations to my handlebars are definitely noticeable and when I look at the mirrors they get a little bit blurry and the, and uh, it's really difficult to see other than what color of car is following you but you don't really see any any details from the mirrors at these speeds but it's expected from this kind of bike you get the performance you get a big thumper you get all the torque in the world but you get some vibrations doing uh, highway stints but I'm actually honestly I'm already quite used to it when I do 98 indicated the vibrations go from go a little bit less it's definitely very capable of traveling many hours doing 90 kilometers an hour but the comfort level does go down a little bit if you do a lot more speed than that but I think this is a perfect combination for someone who likes to travel long distances and even do some longer highway stints but still be able to get a very very capable off-road machine I would definitely put this in your shortlist if you're looking for a KTM 690 and a planning on doing some kind of an adventure build in this in that bike because power wise this bike is pretty much comparable weight and the feel of this bike is pretty much exactly the same but you get so much with this bike if you're planning to build a rally tower with your KTM or, or Husqvarna that's gonna cost you quite a, quite a lot of money so with this bike you get pretty much a ready-built machine and you don't really need to do anything it's already done just put your luggage on the bike and head for an adventure excellent choice for someone looking for a big thumper and yeah I liked it I like it if I had a one bike garage this would be a high contender high contender maybe the only one <laughs> it's fun it's a hooligan hooligan machine Hope you enjoyed the episode. Let's bring the AJP pack to its stable. <laughs> Fun sound.